This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life. Hello, everybody. I wanted to give everybody an update in my garden, in my fruit tree paradise. It's been quite a while, so I'm going to give you this update now. I have several different trees that i gotten rid of for several different reasons, and I'll explain that. And I got new trees to replace them. And all throughout my garden and my yard, I do have papaya trees that I planted all over the place. And those papaya trees are really just filling up space until the other trees grow bigger. And within six months, I can get full ripe papayas on them. So they also provide a lot of great food. So coming over here, I originally had when I, when I first got my tree garden was a... Uh, lemon tree here and it didn't do too well but I since then put this uh, banana tree and I've already gotten a rack of bananas off that so I'm really happy with that spot and, and those bananas. Here I have a moringa tree and uh, this is one of the most nutritious plants that we can eat. They're excellent and under that I have katuk. These are all perennial greens so this I come right outside my house and I can grab these and make them into juice. I also have uh, several miracle fruit plants all over the garden and miracle fruit Makes anything you taste that's sour taste sweet, and it's really a miracle. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I, in my backyard, I have two coconut trees, and in the front, I have several more. But this is one of the two coconuts I have here. All of the coconut trees I have are dwarf coconuts, so when they're fully bloomed, I won't have to climb to get the coconuts. In my, and we're just passing a papaya tree here, one of the many papaya trees. I just took another one down, and here you can see a papaya tree growing right here. That's great. Uh, this here is a, a, a cherry tree, a Barbados cherry tree, also known as Acerola cherry. Now, I have another one for a long time, and I was so pleased with that one that I decided to get another one right here. And uh, it's really uh, one of the most prolific uh, givers of fruit that I have here on all my trees. This here is a dwarf banana tree. And uh, I got some bananas for the first time here. They're not exactly ripe yet, but I'm really excited about this. Uh, and I'll see how they taste. Over here, this is uh, a jackfruit tree. It's called Chine jackfruit, which is a combination of a jackfruit and a champadoc. And champadocs usually don't grow here in South Florida, uh, but this is the closest thing we could have. It's a Chine jackfruit. It's excellent. And right under it, I have some greens growing. I, I put greens all around the uh, edges of the trees because that's where they get water on a regular basis. Now, when these trees are big, I'm not going to be able to get greens on the tree, but for now, I can. This is a potted Kent mango tree, uh, and I, I'm waiting to see what happens because there's a disease on this particular mango where beautiful big mangoes grow on the tree, but they fall off before they're edible. And I'm waiting to see what happens before I put this one in the ground or back in the ground because I had originally taken it out. And here's another Kent mango tree, one of the biggest trees in my yard. Uh, I did get a lot of mangoes off last year, but I'm waiting to see what happens with that disease. And if it does become an issue, I could just graft another different type of mango on there. Now, I've mentioned the Champadoc jackfruit. This is a Champadoc jackfruit. They're not very uh, easy to find here in South Florida. And this one's growing really nice. And there was one big tree here that they took some grafts out. So I'm excited. See how that'll turn out. This is one of four soursop trees, also known as guanabana, that I have on the property. I've had this one a uh, pretty long time and it hasn't done anything yet, but I do have some other trees I'll show you that have fruited. This is one of my, well, all these are my favorite fruits, so we'll see. Now I had here a kit mango, uh, but it got that disease, so I took that out and instead I put a mame. I got three mame trees and this is a one that's real, doing really excellent in this spot. I'm excited. And right next to it, I have a tomato plant growing, getting the water from the tree that's watering the tree. And there's these little fruits here. And eventually, those will be my maize. It's just a little too young right now. But this is a Lorita, uh, my maize tree. This is a Sapodilla tree, which is also known as brown sugar fruit. Uh, and it's uh, going to grow very nicely here. This is a smaller variety. And it's just going to get a ton of, of different... Uh, great tasting fruits here so I'm excited my neighbor has this tree growing right up here and it's an egg fruit tree also called canisteel so I was skeptical I used to have an orange tree here that wasn't doing too well and this eventually will grow and might get in the way of this I don't particularly love that fruit I love this one so it would be 
Back there I have a coconut tree. This is the second coconut tree I have in the backyard. I have more in the front. This is a persimmon. This is a South Florida persimmon. I have another one in the front. Uh, and uh, this, again, is uh, something that hasn't grown yet, but one of my favorites. And one variety, I have uh, another variety of persimmon in the front, plus another one of these. And this is an avocado tree. This is my favorite avocado. It's a Haas avocado. But normally Haas avocados don't do well here in Florida. This is called a Super Haas. And this does great and it tastes almost better than a Haas. I have several different avocados. Uh, this is the best one by far. This is one of my big mango trees. I have this one and I have that one. And these are lemon meringue mangoes. They literally taste like lemon meringue pie. Very unique. And there's two of those. And this mango is the biggest tree I have in my yard and the most, oh, give me the most fruit so far. This is a, a, a Kerry mango. And uh, it's just uh, so good. This is the earlier mangoes and this is the mid-season mangoes. So coming back here, you can see here's a papaya tree that's just fully in bloom. There's different type of papayas and uh, those will be ripe real soon. So over here, uh, I have uh, another Barbados cherry tree that I just cut because it was much taller and I didn't want to have to climb to get the cherries. So I just cut it back and I got that there. And then I have a big, uh, I have two big banana trees. I have one there, which is my favorite banana. I already got three stalks on it currently right now of bananas that, there you can see one right there. And currently the, uh, this tree has given me more bananas than I can count um, at least three, four hundred bananas I've gotten from this tree so far. That was my first and only banana tree, but I liked it so much, I added more. And this whole row is banana trees. I got a banana tree here, banana tree here, another one, another one. So I got one, two, three, four, five. So initially I had one. I liked it so much, I got five on this back wall, and then I got two more over there. This tree is a uh, lychee. And Leachate doesn't give fruit every year in this particular place where I am in South Florida, uh, but when it fruits, it's going to fruit amazing because it's just perfect. It's growing, and I'm really excited about that. It's a lychee tree. Now, anyone can grow this. I don't have a big property. I only have maybe a quarter acre, and I'm fitting all these trees. I'm going to just keep them not from getting too big uh, by trimming them. This is a sugar apple tree. And this tree last time in the video, it was almost dead. And I just gave it a lot of attention and care. And now it's, it's grown really nicely. And this is uh, one of my favorites. This is called white sapote. It tastes like vanilla. It's just amazing. And it's grown really nice, as you can see. So that tree I planted here in the corner. All these trees were planted strategically. I didn't just throw them anywhere. This is a long end tree. I have a long end tree, another property. And uh, it just grows great out here. So. Uh, that's uh, coming into season here soon. Here's another mango tree. I had a fig tree here in the last video I made, and the figs were going great. They were Turkish figs, but the bugs were getting them before I could. And it, it was becoming a problem, so I took that big fig tree out that was growing really nice, and I put another mamey tree here. And I also have tomatoes growing around that as well. And this is a lemon tree. I did get some lemons on it this year. I'm really excited. Citrus is really hard to grow in South Florida, believe it or not, but that's a lemon tree. This here is a dragon fruit tree, and I moved this from the other side of the yard, and they grow up, these stalks, and dragon fruits will grow, so that's looking nice. This is another jackfruit tree. Uh, as you can tell, I love jackfruit, and this is growing really nice as well. It's a good spot, and I got tomatoes down there at the bottom. And again, I got papayas growing all over the yard, papaya trees. Uh, just to fill in some spots until these other trees grow nice and big. Here's another papaya tree. I must have maybe 10 different papaya trees. And then I have another lemon tree that I put in uh, to see how it does. Uh, and a small lime tree. My lime tree is doing great, actually. My lime tree is doing really nice. There are a lot of limes on there. And I got some green, some kale growing on the bottom. Uh, so. Uh, that's, I've been very pleased with that. I have some greens in my garden here, some collards and some cabbage that's growing well. And I'll show you the last few trees in the backyard. I 
got another banana tree back there and we'll see how it grows. It's uh, looking nice. I'm pleased with it. Then I have this tree here, which is a avocado tree. And this one in a hurricane uh, got messed up but last year, but it's growing back very nicely. I'm pleased with it. They're all different varieties. All the trees I have two of are different varieties, uh, except the sour sap. I have some of the same. This is uh, my favorite tree. Look how big it is. It's a sour sap tree, also known as Guanabana. Now I have four trees of this, and this is the biggest one. Uh, this is a sour sap tree, not as big. I cut this during the, the hurricane last year, uh, just so it didn't fall over, and it's not growing back as well as I'd like. And here's another sour sap tree. But I do, and I'm confident, think that they will grow back nicely in their due time. And I have a banana tree right here, and right behind a banana tree, I have a big jackfruit. And a jackfruit tree, I got jackfruit off that last year, and it's really exciting. Now let's go to the front of the house and see what I got growing on there. We're into my front yard now, and this is one of the biggest changes that I've made. Last time, there was a big, giant mulberry tree here, and uh, I just wanted to use the space more efficiently. So I took out the mulberry tree, and I put in another avocado tree uh, that was in a different area because I thought it'd be a nice spot. And that mulberry tree, I thought it was going to die, and it didn't. I actually stuck it in the ground in another part of the front yard, and we'll take a look at that. It's growing really nice. Besides the papaya trees that I have here, this is another Florida persimmon. Uh, that I have grown here. I'm going to see how it does. It loses all its leaves in winter time, so that's fine. This is Katuk. I shed more when we first started. This is an edible green. Uh, and this is another Mamay tree. So this is a three of the tree, three Mamay trees right there. And this one's really nice. This is a uh, this is a wax jambu. It's a, like a, like a rose apple. And it's different varieties. This is a sweet one. And this tree goes big and gives more fruit than any other tree out there. Uh, so I, I wanted to get one of those. It's not the sweetest fruit, but it gives so much it's worth it. Here's another white sapote. So I have a white sapote here and one directly. We looked at in the backyard diagonal across from the house. And here's these, uh, a hedge of bushes I made. These are Grumachama Gruma cherries. They're from Brazil. And uh, uh, they give berries out, a uh, little these little cherries, Grumachama cherry. And, uh, so they have a lot on there. Those are nice. Alrighty. So I have several of these trees that I put in the front because I'm, I have several of these trees that I put in the front because I'm not sure how it's going to be if people take fruit or not. But these are uh, Putuma and they're, 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 they're like, they're a fruit, a small fruit. Most people don't know what they are. And I have uh, three or four of them around. And right behind that, I have a giant coconut tree, as you can see there. That's nice. And I planted a miracle fruit all throughout my yard. I love miracle fruit. There's another miracle fruit, another patuma. This is the only tree I have that is not edible. This is a lang lang tree. And it's really uh, for the smell. It's a perfume tree. It smells out of this world. Wonderful. Here is the tree I eat from the most. Look at all of this. This is a star fruit tree, also known as carambola. Consistently always having fruit on this tree, and I'm saving a lot of money by eating these fruits. Uh, and, and these in the store, for one of these, is like 2 or $3. And look how many are on there. And I'm not looking at selling them. I, I eat them, uh, but uh, I could eat 10 of these a day with no problem. Uh, but in the store, they sell them green like this, but I pick them right off the tree, and it's a, such a different experience. And here I have another jackfruit tree. Uh, this is the orange variety of jackfruit. And you can see right around that I have some greens growing. Uh, this is going to grow very nicely here. And coming up here, we have another avocado tree right here. Uh, and uh, that's grown really nicely. At one time, I wasn't sure I was going to make it. Uh, but it's coming in real nice and nice bark on that tree. Here, I have an oh, excellent miracle fruit plant. This is my first one. And look, here's a miracle fruit berry on there right now. And I love those. As I said, they make anything sour taste sweet. They're great. This is a Mansa Darosa tree, and I'll show you those fruits right here. I got a bunch of them. It's more like a hedge than a tree, and you see these fruits right here. These fruits taste like the combination between a pineapple and a banana when they're ripe, and it's uh, very unique here. And here we have a Sapodilla tree, uh, another Sapodilla tree. It's growing real nice. Then we come here. 
my neighbor's property. He let me use it. I have a petuma tree right here. I have a coconut tree right here and two more coconut trees in the front. Now I did have, oh, by the way, this is a strawberry tree. It gives up these little strawberries, it's excellent. Now I did have uh, another coconut tree right here, but it actually got a disease and it died. Uh, so I cut it out. You can see here is the bark of the coconut tree. And now I put in it this uh, triumph or uh, this triumph uh, persimmon tree. And it does a great job getting a lot of wonderful persimmon. Here's that mulberry tree that I moved, and it's growing back excellent. It's going to be really nice. And this is, I believe, another Petuma tree right here. And that's my coconuts. I finally got coconuts on the trees, actually. Coconuts growing on the trees here in South Florida. Look at all these coconuts that are growing. I'm excited. Look at all that. It's just wonderful. So I got these three coconut trees here. All right, everybody. That is uh, the trees that I have right now. I only have room for a few more trees, and I'm going to get them. And I'll make another updated video as these trees keep growing. And uh, it's just a great learning experience. And my supermarket is my front yard and my backyard. All right, everybody. Have a great day and a great raw life. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life.